The new Peplink Antenna Max S combines Starlink, cellular, and long-range Wi-Fi into one roof-mounted enclosure for the top of your RV or boat. We've got the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to talk about the new Peplink Antenna Max S, which has just been announced. Now, this is an evolution of the Peplink Antenna Max that came out last year, and we covered it then, and we've been doing some testing of that, so members go check, read our testing notes over at the Mobile Internet Resource Center to dive deeper. But the Antenna Max S takes the Antenna Max and adds Starlink to the mix. So first off, let's talk about what was the Antenna Max and what were the benefits of it. And the key benefit is combining a place for your cellular router to be outside mounted on your roof with very, very short antenna cables, just measured in inches, connecting to the antennas that are built right into the Antenna Max. This is an advantage over the traditional way of having your cellular router inside and then having a bundle of, um, you know, potentially you know, four cellular antennas for 5G, uh, two Wi-Fi antennas for your long-range Wi-Fi, and then a GPS antenna. So seven cables, seven coax cables having to go from your inside router, snaking all the way up through your roof of your RV or your boat, to the external antenna. That's a lot of cables. It makes for a pretty big hole. Those cables can get expensive. And over a longer distance than more about 20 feet or so, the cable loss, the signal loss over those cables starts to undo the advantage of having a high gain antenna up on the roof. So you have these really tricky trade-offs, but by having an outdoor enclosure that lets you put the router itself outdoors inside the same enclosure as the antenna, you get rid of all that potential for cable loss. You just introduce other complexities of, well, your router's outdoors now. You can't change SIM cards easily and stuff like that. But the trade-offs for a lot of installations are really worth it. You basically have just a single Ethernet cable coming inside that can often provide both power and data. And that was kind of the vision of the Antenna Max that came out last fall. Certain Peplink routers could fit inside of that and um, just connect inside with an Ethernet cable and you've got basically the benefits of a weatherproof system for a lot less than a you know what would have been an old dome system that was dedicated to being outdoors. So pretty cool product. The Antenna Max has done well over the past year. And now the Antenna Max S adds, well, if people don't want just cellular, they want cellular plus Starlink. So the Antenna Max S is an Antenna Max with space for Starlink, a Starlink Mini, to fit right in that same enclosure. So you end up with one relatively small enclosure on the roof of your RV or up the mast of your boat or on the radar arch that has all your connectivity. It's got 4x4 cellular MIMO 5G antennas, 2x2 two, um, two two MIMO long-range Wi-Fi antennas, and a GPS receiver and Starlink Mini, all in that one weatherproof box with your router mounted right there underneath it, and then just a single wire rather than a big giant bundle coming down into your RV or boat. So on paper, this is an absolutely fabulous solution. It you know, gives you a lot of connectivity and just one thing that you need to install uh, makes for a very nice clean installation. Uh, but there are a few downsides to consider. Um, do you want to help keep this channel afloat? Well, you can do that by joining us over at the Mobile Internet Resource Center and become a member. And if membership is not for you, there's easier ways to support us. Just like, subscribe, comment, and share. Share our content, help get out to more people, and that keeps us floating and bringing more connectivity content to you. <laughs> well, we've talked about the advantages of having everything in one unit on your roof. There are some downsides. For one, it is integrating everything into just one single component. So you have to go up on your roof if you want to make any changes. If you want to change the SIM cards that are installed in the cellular modems, if you want to take the Starlink Mini out, you have to basically disassemble the entire antenna Max S to take the Starlink Mini out and travel with it. If SpaceX ever changes the design and the sizing of the Starlink Mini, well, this antenna Max S might be an orphan product that won't fit future versions of it. So definitely keep that in mind for future proofing. Um, and well, there's advantages of having just that single wire going to the roof, but it does mean that if you want to then have more complex uh, uh, other LAN sources on your network, you need to have a Ethernet switch inside, a managed Ethernet switch, and use Peplink's VLAN features to let your router 
connect to other WAN sources via the virtual WANs via your Ethernet switch. So there's a little bit of extra complexity that comes from having your router living up on the roof and out of your easy access. And then there is one new disadvantage that is kind of unique to the Antenna Max S is that Peplink seems to have shipped this product a bit prematurely. They haven't really worked out the power supply issues of how you're going to power that Starlink Mini um, over a single Ethernet cable. Um, now, there's, you know, theoretically, you should be able to just have a, 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 that single Ethernet cable go inside the Antenna Max S and then use a PoE splitter to split the DC power needed for the Starlink Mini off of the power over Ethernet signal coming in. But Peplink has not released a version of their splitter, their splitter max that has enough power output to power a Starlink Mini yet. We expect that'll be coming the next few months. But right now, if you want to power everything over just a single Ethernet cable, you're going to need to look to third-party solutions. We know Mobile Must Have is actually putting together an accessory kit really quickly to go along with the Antenna Max S that will give you a PoE splitter that is powerful enough to run the Starlink Mini inside that and still fit inside that enclosure. Um, but otherwise, Peplink's official solution, still pending. So a little bit disappointing there. And the alternative is then just running a second power line. So you'll have your Ethernet line going up for data, and then you'll have a second DC power line that will be able to power the Starlink and potentially the power your router and everything else. So you takes it from a one wire solution to a two wire solution until you work out the PoE splitter details. Now we go a little bit more into the implications of that in the article that goes along with this video. So go over there to better understand the downsides and the components you might need if you are considering embracing the Antenna Max S. The other bit of um, bad news with the Antenna Max S is even though it's just adding a little bit more to the Antenna Max, the Antenna Max was $349, which is a great value for a combination outdoor router enclosure and cellular and Wi-Fi antennas. The Antenna Max S has slightly larger cellular antennas, so it should have a little bit better antenna gain and, of course, has the space to mount the Starlink. But other than that, it's very similar component, but it's cost twice as much, so it's coming out at $699. Still, if you are looking for a simple, clean installation, and particularly if you want to run something way up the mast or radar arch on a boat and you really want to simplify your install with just a single or maybe two wires, it is definitely something to consider. It is uh, within the, the realm of reasonable cost. It works with uh, Peplink routers in the, the um, BR1 mini series, the Max Transit Duo if you want dual 4G in it, or the BR1 Pro 5G is probably the most likely router to pair inside of this. And you'll get a whole lot of connectivity way up on uh, with great cellular and Wi-Fi visibility, and your Starlink up high as well, all with a simple, easy cable. So it's something to consider. Definitely check it out. It's the new Peplink Antenna Max S. And if you are interested in the Peplink Antenna Max S, go over and see the our article that accompanies this video. We've also got some special member exclusive tips. We've done some analysis of the antenna gain, comparing it to the original Antenna Max that is member exclusive. And we've been doing some testing, hands-on testing of the original Antenna Max. So you can see our opinions of that and our experiences with that. We go a little bit deeper into the routers that would best pair with installing inside the Antenna Max. So members, especially go over to the Mobile Internet Resource Center, go deeper into this new product. We think it is an exciting addition to Peplink's product offering. And we look forward to seeing it on uh, um, some boats and some RVs out there in the future. So that's it. Take care. And let you try it out. Let us know what you think of it. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.